Hey Libras, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is your uh, love reading for the rest of 2019 for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Libras, I was getting a whole lot of different stuff for you, and I'll be honest, you made me a little mad. Okay, you made me a little mad. Let's start with the good stuff. Uh, so first of all, I actually saw like white light coming out of heart chakras. And I feel like I've seen that for you before, actually, not that long ago. Um, but you're shining bright. You're doing really good. You're on your path. You're doing good shit for yourself and you're feeling damn good as you do it. You're shining. Now what happens when you shine? Everyone sees, even the bad people, right? Even the bad people. Um, Libra, I also saw a koala. It's usually indicative of like your blueprint or your destiny, your purpose. For me personally in spirituality, that's what the koala is about. You're following your path, you're following your purpose and you're heading towards good shit. People see that. People are aware of that. And I feel like people have been aware of it. C keep in mind, guys, we're coming into an eclipse, a really big eclipse, a really important eclipse on the 26th of December, 2020. We've been talking about it for a long time. You know what's up with 2020, okay? With all of this energy, a lot of truths are coming out and not just like, you know, little secrets here and there. Like the shit that people have been up to that are, it's really fucking shady. Sorry, I'm like, I was a little triggered when I was getting all this stuff for you. Uh, real fucking shady, uh, real seedy. And it's going to be really upsetting. You're going to be finding out that people have been wanting to sabotage you on your path. You're going to be wanting to find out that people don't want good things for you. These are going to be your lovers. These are going to be your friends, your family, your coworkers. It's going to be people who you really trusted, people who are really close to you. Okay? Uh, it's going to be upsetting. But it is what it is. And keep in mind, whatever's meant for you is meant for you. And that's it. Right? You're, you're, you're even going to be finding out about stuff that happened way back that doesn't even affect you anymore. Okay? So when this happens... Try not to get too triggered, okay? Try not to get too triggered. Like I said, you're on your path anyway, and no one can stop what's meant for you. They can try, but they ain't gonna be successful, all right? Especially if you're supposed to do some real big important shit that affects like everybody, <laughs> right? You're gonna be fine. Um, I did also hear echo and bounce backs. So like I said, you're gonna be fine. Shoot flag, go away, swat. Like you'll be fine. Echo bothered me. Echo really bothered me. Um, it's no surprise that Libra you got some haters right because you're doing good um people have been trying to mimic you you'll be finding that out too realizing that that's not going to bother you too much some of you are going to be doing some identity theft please be mindful of that please be mindful of that it's like it's that level of like mimicking or mimicry um some of you are also going to be finding out that this is not going to be for everybody this is very specific and I was even surprised they even gave it to me um so for some of you who are in counterpart situations uh, who are in relationships with other people who are not you, you're going to be finding out that they've been actually taking your energy to mimic your energy, okay? And that that's that happens in the community. People do do that. It's shady, it's shitty, and they're going to get their karmic, you know, consequences for that, okay? Especially with all this energy that we have going on. Um, and that's going to really upset some of you, but it is what it is, okay? And like I said, whatever's meant for you is meant for you. That can't be derailed, all right? Um... I don't remember if there's anything else. Oh, yeah. Libra, those of you who are in romantic relationships, like people that you've been with for a while or even that you're married to, or like maybe you've just been with for a while, you know, um, you're going to find out some manipulative shit that some like real manipulative shit. Okay, I think it's going to come in a lot of different flavors for whoever that's for. It's not going to be for everybody. Keep in mind, guys, the messages I get, they're they're not for like every, all these messages are not for one person it's like for different people okay so just take what resonates um gonna be finding out that someone's a way more manipulative than you thought they were it's gonna motivate you like you've never been motivated before to start that new shit to really get going or to even have a clean slate okay um some of you kind of needed this push and whatever tricks are coming out that is going to be the push that, that is going to just help you skyrocket okay like very motivated like you're like, you aren't going to even think twice before just packing up your shit and going. Okay. All right, Libras, let's go ahead and get into the pre shuffle. Please provide me any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Libra, Summon Rising Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Please provide me any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, for the rest of 2019, I'm actually seeing a Jaguar. Very cool. Definitely taking back your power, Libra. Like, you, you're already good, Libra. You're already in a good place, but it's like, oh, God, who was I just talking to about this? I was just talking to somebody about this recently. Like, it's, it's like, it's sacred rage. It's sacred rage is what it is. And it's like, oh, you're going to be so motivated. It's like, they hated you before. 
get ready for it. Get ready. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm like, I'm so tapped into like that, that irritation and that sacred rage. It's it's almost hard to focus. Placing 40 messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Libra. So I'm rising Venus and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Whoa. Holy shit. Uh, uh. <laughs> Lovers of the Six of Pentacles. Holy shit, Libra. Okay, okay, I see you. Someone's reaching out. Libra, someone's reaching out here. I feel a big reach out. Some it's even going to be a gift. And it's going to be from someone you have a very significant connection with. Very significant, spiritually guided as well. Remember what I was saying? Some of these counterparts have been like dealing with, we'll just call them mimics because that's what they are. Um, you're going to be hearing from them. You're going to be hearing from them. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh that, made, that made my heart quiver. Look at this shit. Oh, do you feel it, Libra? Holy shit. Tower card. I know I can't stop saying that. Tower. <laughs> Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars. And we have the death card, Scorpio. Talk about dun 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 dun, dun ending. I don't know how to say how to like do that tone for some reason. Uh yeah, wow. Something is crashing down and it's crashing down hard, and it's because some truth is coming out. And I feel like you're gonna hear it from somebody. You're gonna hear it from somebody significant significant to you as far as a spiritual connection is concerned or an energetic connection is concerned someone's going to reach out and it's just going to be like truth bomb after truth bomb after truth bomb of what's been going on with the people around you yeah i almost feel like a helper here like like someone who you're at who you're spiritually guided to be connected to is giving you a helping hand of some sort and it's it's allowing all this truth to come out here and the helping hand could just literally be hey you, libra you might want to know about this or libra i gotta tell you about some shit wow i mean god this is like oh this is making me cringe uh major transformative energy with that as well changing the game it's changing the whole game oh libra this feels really intense changing the whole game some of you will be experiencing this moment and have and you're gonna want to reach out after the fact yeah for some that's how it's happening for some this major truth bomb this major i'm hearing like stripping changing the game major transformative energy because major exposures are going to be happening is actually is prompting someone to do this so some of you it's happening the other way so you know take it as it resonates depends on who's got all this truth that needs to come out right so libra if you've got people in your life that really don't have your best interests at heart someone is going to be contacting you and you're gonna you're gonna get wind of this through them um if someone, if someone who's energetically attached to you is experiencing that, they're going to reach out to you and let you know, hey, this just happened to me. Wow. Please import any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. God, Merry Christmas, right? Two of Wands. Yep, setting out on a new path. Set on, get, taking everything, the world. <laughs> taking everything and just going anew. Mm-hmm. Yep, see if anything else wants to come out here. Keep in mind, it's just a pre-shuffle. Interesting. Now we have Page of Cups, Honesty. Interesting. Chariot and Avert. Oh, obstacles. The obstacles. The truth of the obstacles. Yeah, getting away from anything that's ever stopped you because of all these truths that are, that are coming out. Some of you, if you're experiencing this personally versus someone in your life who's experiencing this and they're telling you about it, so keep in mind, you can just be getting wind of this happening to someone. It doesn't have to be happening to you. But if this is happening to you, Libra, hmm. I mean, it's it's going to feel horrible, but like I said, you're going to get over it fairly quick because of that sacred rage energy. And you're just going to be like, well, thank you for the honesty. Thank you for telling me. I'm going to be changing all this shit, changing the whole game. Oh, my Libra. All right. So let's go ahead. Oh, boy. And get into your reading here. Any messages for Libra regarding love for the rest of 2019? I feel like you guys are asking me questions. I didn't mean to confuse you. So Libra, like I said, this could be happening in a couple ways where this could be happening to someone you're connecting to and they're just telling you and they're reaching out to you because it's like, I can't believe this happened to me. I can't believe these people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? 
or someone could be reaching out to you to be like hey and someone significant that you're energetically connected to spiritually connected to that's like hey i need to let you know this okay any messages for libra and in that case they'd be someone who's on your side here okay a friend amongst the foes any messages for libra regarding love for the rest of 2019 any messages for libra regarding love for the rest of 2019 nine of wands in reverse sagittarian energy this is a lot of fatigue but it's like i still feel that perseverance oh it's it's being beaten that's what that is that's what, what that is um, so like I said, whoever's getting this information, the person you're connecting with or you, because as you guys know, this can be vice versa. Oh God, I got so into this. I skipped my whole intro. <laughs> Oops. Hold on a second, guys. Mm. You guys know how tarot works. If you don't know how tarot works, please check out how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. Link below. For those who are really new and who don't want to look at the link, a uh, quick look, quick, quick rundown. Uh, don't pay attention to gender because we all have masculine feminine energy. So if it's a king, it could even be a female. It doesn't matter. Um, energy can be reversed or vice versa. So this could be about someone you're connecting with, as I've been saying, right? Or it could be about you. So decide who you are in the situation. And I won't confuse you. So I'm just going to run with how I feel is, is happening. If it's vice versa, then switch it. Okay. What else? <laughs> I got so into the energy that I totally forgot. Um, this is for the rest of 2019, but time isn't linear. So it could be for any period of time. Whenever you're guided to watch readings, when you're guided to watch it, okay? Those are just guys. You guys know how this works. And if it's not your story, please don't make it fit. Please don't try to make it fit. Any messages for Libra? But yeah, it, this is like beaten up energy. Like beaten up by the truth. Beaten up by the truth, but then it's like, well, you know, fuck it. I'll go to the new anyway. Ooh. Yeah, four of cups in reverse. Can't stare in energy. Beaten up by the truth. Oh, God, I just heard dogged. Feeling dogged. Feeling embarrassed. You're going to push through, Libra. If this is happening to you, you're going to be pushed through real fucking quick, okay? If this is happening to somebody you know and you're getting wind of it, I mean, this is how they've been feeling, like, just totally dogged out and embarrassed and manipulated. Any other messages for Libra regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Libra regarding love for the rest of 2019? Got two more cards here. Wow. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air with the two of cups. Can't Syrian energy. So there is a soulmate connection on the board here. We even had that in the pre-shuffle. That's very uh, strong, actually. It's very strong. Well, the King of Pentacles energy here, Libra, I don't feel like that's you. I feel like it's actually someone you're going to be speaking with. Someone who is... Mm. Oh, Libra. Some of you might have confusion on this person. Some of you might not be sure if you can trust them. Because I was about to say friend and then they were like, foe, friend, foe. And it's like, oh, shit, you're not, you're not sure. You're not sure if you can trust this person. Yeah, and I feel like it's someone who's going to be reaching out to you, for sure. Um, someone who's not very confident right now. Some This one might be happening to someone you know, Libra. Because I feel like this person's been recently beaten. And that's the energy we've been picking up, beaten by the truth here. Yeah. I'm also hearing that they're very stubborn, but there's something with their energy, whether it's like... The truth is so heavy and so hurtful. They're just like, they don't have the strength to be stubborn. They like, oh, this this sucks. Yeah, it's like, this is someone who's like hit the bottom. They've hit the bottom, Libra. Any messages for Libra regarding love for the rest of 2019? Ace of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Ace of Wands in reverse, yeah, it's like not motivated. They, they tired, tired and beaten by the truth, wanting to move on, wanting to move forward, but they, they're tired. They're tired. They're also uh, getting like a missed opportunity. I think they feel they miss on an opportunity with you, even though they feel like this connection is really strong. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be hearing from this person, Libra, and they're the ones who have been struggling with this whole truth bomb situation about the people in their life. 
and you're not sure that, that you can trust them. You're not sure that you can trust them. And they feel they miss on an opportunity with you. There's going to be communication about this. I also feel that this person's will get through it. They will. They will get through it and maybe with your help. Let's see. Any other messages for Libra regarding love the rest of 2019? Yeah, I'm feeling like an assistant here. I'm not, like not an assistant, but I mean like assistance. You two might help each other. That's what they just told me. Are there any other messages for Libra for the rest of 2019? Any other messages for Libra? <laughs> Got a queen of wands on the board. It came out sideways. It didn't know if it wanted to be upright or not. Uh, queen of wands, Aries energy could also be fire or water. Flip flop, flip flop. They're telling me flip flop. Maybe they like flip flops. <laughs> any messages for Libra for the rest of 2019? Three of Cups, Cancerian Energy. Overall, Libra, we have two ones in reverse. Ooh, with a Queen of Pentacles and a Ten of Pentacles. Oh, Knight of Wands, Six of Swords. A Queen of Pentacles is getting left behind. Oh, boy. Yep, a Queen of Pentacles is getting left behind. A Knight of Wands is getting the hell out of Dodge, moving away from it, even though the Queen of Pentacles has the Ten of Pentacles attached. Ten of Pentacles, for those who are new, it's long-term security, stability. It could be a marriage. could be someone they live with. It could even be a mother figure with that, like, like because Ten of Pentacles could also be family. It could even be a mother figure. Some are finding out their mothers were big, fat liars. Manipulators, what I just heard, actually. Manipulators. Oh, my God, this person's getting hit really hard. Uh, it's someone that they um, are very much connecting to. Libra, I feel like this is your energy over here. They they want they want to be with you. They want to reconcile with you. They want to have some camaraderie with you. Um, support. I'm hearing support. Three of Cups can also be a supportive social energy. And the connection you two have is very strong. It's very strong. Um, there's something they're finding out about this Queen of Pentacles energy that's hitting them hard. And I feel it's about manipulation and some deeply buried shit. And I feel like it's it's about like wanting to stop them on their path here. Um, but Libra, I definitely feel for you that you've been on your path and the Queen of Wands energy, like you're going. You're going, you've been going. And they're like, God damn it, maybe I have lost Libra. Yeah, that's definitely how this is feeling. This King of Pentacles has been dealing with this Queen of Pentacles for a while, whether it's a romantic connection a familial connection, a work relationship, because it's all pentacles here, right? Because they're shared the 10. They're getting away from this person. They're breaking away from this person. They have no problem doing it, is what I'm getting. They have no problem breaking away from this person. It's, yeah, whatever truth bomb that's, like, beating them up pretty bad. No problem doing that. But then they turn their attention to a Queen of Wands energy, who they feel they already have a Two of Cups with, and they want that extra cup. They want that... Hi, Libra. Like, you know what I mean? They want they want support between the two of you. You two might help each other. I keep getting that. You two might actually help each other. But the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands, it's like there's there's an energy of like, they're really fucking, they've been really beaten up. They've been really beaten up and it's like they're not sure with that Ace of Wands in reverse. They're not sure. They're not sure you'll be receptive. Even you were kind of flip-floppy here when we're getting flip-flop because you don't trust them. You don't totally trust them. I think having, some of you are having a hard time believing their story is what I'm getting to. Some of you are having a hard time believing their story. Oy. All right, let's break this down, Libra. Shit. With the Nine of Wands in verse and the Four of Cups in verse. I'm curious about the Four of Cups in verse. So let's go there. Like, what deck do I want? Let's do Gilded. Play the Four of Cups in verse. God, God, so many downloads. Libra, some of you feel really manipulated by this King of Pentacles. Maybe they were manipulative in the past, but they consider your, your connection to be very strong. That's what I'm getting from the Queen of Cups. Like, you know, so, ooh, Queen of Cups. <laughs> from the Queen of Wands. Like, even the way the cards are laying, I know it's like you guys can't really see. Hold on. Even the way the cards are laying, I don't know if you can see. Like, she's side-eyeing. She's side-eyeing. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like mm, I don't know if I believe your ass. Yeah, I, I yeah, I'm feeling that from the Queen of Wands. Like, there's big question marks, like, and questioning, if, oh, God, they're looking at the king, like, I wonder if this story is just all bullshit, and you're just trying to manipulate me. Like, that's what that's what's going on on the Queen of Wands head. There must be some kind of emphasis, like, uh, preface of uh, pr prior manipulation between this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands, because this Queen of Wands is not trusting this king. 
not trusting this king. But I, I really can't shake this feeling that they're, they are going to help each other. That you're, you and this king are going to be helping each other as this king pulls away from this queen of, queen of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like they got they got the hell out of, the hell out of dodge quick. Look at that shit. Knight of Wands is very fast energy with that Six of Swords. Very fast, very fast energy. They didn't fuck around. No matter how hurt they were, they did not fuck around. All right. Anyway, so let's talk about the Four of Cups. Ten of the Four of Cups in reverse. <laughs> Sorry, Libra. I'm picking up on your energy here. God, you really are so on the fence about this King of Pentacles. I can feel it. Um, some of you are surprised to be hearing from this person. Some of you, not all of you. Some of you, I feel like there's been a long absence of like not talking. A long absence. Um, <laughs> some of you have had a string of contacts like, oh, oops, I need to show the camera. Some of you Queen of Wands have had a string of contacts like this of like people from your past or people like trying to get in with you a little bit. And it's like, I think you've been very uh suspect of every time it's happened because i'm almost getting like another one another one like that's kind of what i'm getting here anyway i'm sorry i'm getting sucked into that all right four of cups in reverse so the four of cups in reverse for libra for the rest of 2019 i just heard boss i don't think this is work though this is way way too many cups here for that to be work yeah something about boss someone someone likes to be a boss wants to be a boss pretends some pretend to be a boss for some of you so i have the four of cups in a verse i mean this king sorry a lot of downloads i'm talking really fast so i have the four of cups in a verse for libra for the rest of 2019 and yeah eight of cups piscean energy they're walking away from this queen fast and like happy to do it that they're so I just keep getting shame and embarrassed shame and embarrassed I don't know what this shit is that made them want to leave so quick I can't I think it's gonna be different for all of you but it's around manipulation it's around manipulation for sure tell me the four of cups in reverse tell me the four of cups in reverse oh Oh my god, I'm feeling for this king. Their heart chakra is like being pound is gonna be pounded by this whole event. They want safety. Oh, doesn't that give you the chills? It's not even like I want money. Like it's not even that. It's like I want safety. I want to be around people I feel safe with. This Queen of Pentacles, whatever information is coming out, they don't feel they made them not feel safe. <sighs> Tell me about four of cups in reverse. Tell me about four of cups in reverse. Who can I trust? Oh my God, sorry, I'm hearing inner dialogue. Who could I even trust? God, it had to be bad. It had to be really bad. Whatever this Queen of Pentacles did to this King of Pentacles. Cause it's like, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. It's like, once this happens, once this shit hits the fan and they leave this queen super fast, disconnect from this queen super fast, they feel that shame. They feel that humiliation. Their heart chakra gets pounded and they just go like, who could I even trust? I wanna feel safe. Like this person made me feel so unsafe. Who makes me feel safe? Queen of Wands. So I've got the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles in reverse with the Two of Cups. They leave this Queen of Pentacles and who do they go to? The one person they feel they can trust. Libra. So I've got Four of Cups in reverse. So I've got Four of Cups in reverse. Time of Four of Cups in Reverse for Libra for the rest of 2019. Time of Four of Cups in Reverse for Libra for the rest of 2019. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that is funny. You'll understand why in a second. Page of Cups in Reverse with the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. That's what they want. They want safety. They, they've got a lot of emotion running through them right now. Like I said, their heart chakra is getting pounded by this. Page of Cups in Reverse is that withholding of information. And it's emotional based. And I think that information is literally just to come towards you, Libra, and just to be like, hey, like, I trust you. You're safe. <sighs> oh, my God. I, like, want to cry. You're safe. You are a safe little haven. You are, like, a life raft to this person, emotionally speaking. After this event with this Queen of Pentacles, whatever this event is, it feels really horrible, by the way. Like, I'm, like, their heart chakra is, like, so fucked up. 
it feels really horrible and it's just like I need to feel safe and you're the only person I feel safe with right now oh my god but with this Page of Cups in a verse, it seems like there's been a withholding of information and it could just be about how they really feel about you, Libra, because it does feel like there's been some sense of separation. If there was a third party situation, they chose this Queen of Pentacles. That's definitely how that feels to me. And now they're finding out some really awful, awful shit and they're getting the hell out of Dodge. Um, I do feel like for some of you, this person has money because with the Queen of Pentacles, they had that Ten of Pentacles and now they're taking their Ten of Pentacles and they're basically like, hey, I didn't tell you that you're someone who's trustworthy and now this shit has happened to me, I really realize you're the only person who is trustworthy in my life. And I know our connection is strong and I want to celebrate that with you and have that with you. But you are so side-eyeing them. Yeah, this person might have money for some of you. Overall energy, Queen of Cups, and look, Queen of Wands in reverse. What did I say when I was dealing with the Queen of Wands? Like, Queen of Cups. Yeah. This Queen of Pentacles was definitely a soulmate for sure. And if they were involved with them romantically, definitely a true pair situation. But, you know, it doesn't mean that people always act right, even if someone's a true pair. This person clearly didn't act right. They didn't do something right. Um, but Libra, so are you. You're definitely a true pair to this person. The Queen of Cups to the King of Cups, that's for damn sure. But with the Queen of Wands in a verse, I think they think that you're mad at them. Which is also why it's like... Damn it, I, I really want to talk to Libra. I really want to move towards Libra, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm going to be recept recept receptive. <laughs> Accepted. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my words today. Accepted. Libra, they know you're going to side I am. They know you are. They know you are. Um, so I'm not really interested in this energy because it's like very indicative of what we've already gone over. I am curious about this though. Let's look at the Eight of Wands. Ooh, or Ace of Wands in a verse. No, Ace of Wands in a verse. Let's look at the Ace of Wands in a verse. Hey, hands are cold. Kind of want a deck I haven't used in a while. Uh, let's do the Honest Truth deck. Playing with Ace of Wands in a verse. Playing with Ace of Wands in a verse. Playing with Ace of Wands in a verse. Playing with Ace of Wands in reverse. Libra, I'm getting also that for some of you, wow. Man, karma's a bitch, isn't it? Uh, for some of you, they might not have trusted you in the past. And it might have been because of this Queen of Pentacles. Um, and it makes them feel really stupid. Oh my God. The level of shame with that. The level of shame with that's really fucking intense. Um, for some, they might even questioned you a lot, like what your motives really were. They might even called you manipulative. And at the end of the day, they were being manipulated heavily by someone that they really thought they could trust. The talk about hanging your head, man. Talk about Ace of Wands in reverse. Talk about Ace of Wands in reverse. Talk about Ace of Wands in reverse. For Libra for the rest of 2019. Come on. Ten of Wands. Jesus, Sag energy. Yeah, the, the burden of not being sure. The burden of not being sure that you're going to receive them is very, very overwhelming too. God, this person, it's like they're at the bottom, guys. Like they have been hit so hard and whatever, however this is going to transpire, getting hit so hard, they're just like, they don't have the energy to even have an egotistical reaction. Even if their ego is very intact, they don't even have the strength. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's what the universe does to get people to just accept the truth and be vulnerable. Talking about Ace of Wands in reverse for Libra for the rest of 2019. Time with Ace of Wands in reverse for Libra for the rest of 2019. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, could also be Earth or Fire. Yeah, this person wants stability. They just want safety. They just want to feel fucking safe. I'm just, I feel, I'm feeling for this person. I'm really feeling for this person. But they're going really slow because they're, you know, given what they've just gone through. So I have an Ace of Wands in reverse. Like, and guys, when I say manipulation from this Queen of Pentacles, like the way it feels, I can't even like put words on it. It doesn't even feel just like a little lie here or there. It feels very calculated. It feels very drawn out. It feels very methodical. I Like for some, it could have involved multiple people. Like it was a plan. You know what I mean? It's like, that's how it feels. It just feels like, like it wasn't just some surface 
quick lie here, a quick lie there because I just want you in my life. No, it feels deeper than that. So I'm about you salons on a friend. For some, they, oh, thank you, spirit. For some, uh, ooh, keep forgetting I just got pierced. Uh, for some, this person was money focused on the king's money. So I'm about the ace of wands in reverse. I just heard hiding money too, hiding money. So I'm about ace of wands in reverse for Libra for the rest of 2019. Yeah, sun in reverse, Leo energy. Libra, they're coming to you regardless because they can't trust anybody right now. And you're the only, like, you are the only person that they trust right now for whatever reason or another. But they're, they're, they're in a pretty hopeless place. Okay. They're in a pretty dark place. Oh. Talk about the Ace of Wands in reverse for Libra for the rest of 2019. Mm-hmm. Talk about the Ace of Wands in reverse for Libra for the rest of 2019. And Libra, this can be vice versa. So if it's happening to you, I'm greatly sorry. But there's going to be one person that you think of. Oh, wow. Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy, and the four wands, Leo. Leo. It's Aries. That's so weird. And, and I had to think about it. I'm like, because they, they gave me Leo so quickly. So I've got to be dealing with the Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. Uh, this is actually Venus in, in Aries, uh, by the way. I don't know why I feel I need to emphasize that. That's weird. Someone could have a Venus, Leo, or Aries placement. Anyway, but with the Devil Universe and the Four of Wands, like I said, they want safety. This, this kind of energy, this is what they want. Something that's completely free of anything toxic or manipulative or dark or low vibrational. They want safety. Overall energy, Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. They're not sure they can have it. They're not sure they can have it. They want it. And the Eight of Wands comes in right after this energy, right? They're going to try because they don't feel safe any other with any other person. They don't. They just don't. They feel that safety with you. They want to be close to you. They want to they have support and camaraderie with you, okay? And for some, a reconciliation if there's been a major separation here, okay? Kind of curious about looking at your energy here. I almost called you Leo. Libra. So Queen of Wands, let's take a look at you. Uh, why am I not feeling? I'm not totally loving my decks today for some reason. All right, let's do the Crystal Visions. Play with the Queen of Wands. Play with the Queen of Wands. Play with the Queen of Wands. This could be purely business, but I really feel like it's romantic. Or at least just like someone who really needs some emotional support right now. So I'm with the Queen of Wands for Libra. Oh, I just heard how big is your heart, Libra. I literally just heard that. How big is your heart? So I'm about the Queen of Wands for Libra for the rest of 2019. Some of you guys are going to have a... It, oh God, well, I know you're very flip-floppy with this person. I can feel that. So I'm about the Queen of Wands see here ooh, yeah see look at that shit chariot and the five of cups you're not sure you're not sure to, to just give them the door or to go with them or to support them moving forward you're not sure they, they came out very separate you're not sure <coughs> i'm on the bottom by the way hold on a second hmm. oh god libra i also feel that this person did hurt you before that there is some hurt here they feel like your connection is like unbreakable no matter what's happened in the past that's how they feel that's how they feel okay um but for some of you it might have taken you a while to get over that but you got over it so i got the queen of wands but you still are like i don't know <laughs> it's like i don't trust your ass but i'm about queen of wands for libra for the rest of 2019 I'm telling you, Libra, though, this is like, they're being honest. They're being honest. When, when you when this happens to you, Libra, if you're receiving this information versus experiencing it and then going and talking to somebody, um, if you're like, I don't know if they're telling me the truth. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're telling you the truth. Talk about the Queen of Wands. And they're wanting me to say this. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. I think some of you are not going to believe the details. Like, it's too fantastical. Guys, seriously, sometimes truth is really way stranger than fiction. So I'm about the Queen of Wands. Oh, that's too many, Spirit. So I'm about the Queen of Wands for Libra for the rest of 2019. You're on the fast track, Libra, is what I just heard. You're on the Queen of Wands specifically. You're on the fast track. 
you're way on the fast track. I feel like, um, I feel like you're really enjoying life right now, actually. Um, you might have kind of cut people too. I do feel a little bit of that on your side as well, a little bit on both sides of having to cut some manipulative people. But for the most part, you're in really good standing. Yeah, for the most part, you're in really good standing and you're on the fast track. So I have a Queen of Wands for Libra for the rest of 2019. So I have the Queen of Wands for Libra for the rest of 2019. Whoa. Oh, that felt weird. Oh, that felt really weird. So I have the Queen of Wands. Sorry, guys. I'm fine. <laughs> Ignore me. All right. So now we have Six of Wands in reverse with the Empress. And then we have King of Wands and the Page of Wands. It's so funny. I said Leo. Heavy, heavy Leo energy. Actually, Six of Wands is Leo as well. And we had the Emperor before. And now we have an Empress. Yeah, they're going to try. They're going to try, but Libra, you're not sure you want to give this energy with that Six of Wands in reverse. You're not sure. They're coming to you very humbled, very, again, bottom. Emotionally, bottom. They might have money. They may or may not, but like they have the Ten of Pentacles with them, which tells me they do, if that's what you're wondering about. Um, I feel like some of you guys are going to question that detail. I don't know. That's interesting. Like when this person talks to you. Anyway, um, they're bottom emotionally here, okay? Um, and they know that they've lost clout with you, which is interesting. They know they've lost clout with you. They know they've lost credit. They've lost credit with you. They know that. They know that. But King of Wands or that Page of Wands, they're, they're going to try. They're at a place where they don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. You're the only person they feel safe with. Imagine your world comes crashing down on you. Because someone you trusted or loved even uh, totally betrayed you in a really like strategic, methodical, like villain, like Disney villain like way. Because that's how it feels. Uh, and at the end of the day, you realize the only like the only person you ever trusted that you, you actually really hurt them. Or you dogged them or, or you left them out in the cold because I do feel lost on your side, Libra, that you got over in relation to this person. That's having to come in real fucking humbled, right? Right? Uh, Libra, they wouldn't do this if they didn't feel like they had to. And, I'm, and I know it's like, I'm not anyone's sloppy seconds. I know some of you guys are like, you know, thinking that. Um, this is someone who's just like, I, 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 if you have a, if, okay, come on, guys. Like, come on, we're all human. And yeah, people do shitty things. But like, this person's at the bottom. I'm like, I don't know how another way to, I don't know another way to say it. Like I, I feel for this person. I feel for this person. This is not easy to do, right? Overall energy, we have the 10 of pentacles. 10 of pentacles. They want that 10 of pentacles with you. They want to share their 10 of pentacles with you. And Libra, you could actually have your own 10 of pentacles situation. Whether you have a home or you have assets or you just have that stability, you two could be combining your assets here. Because I do feel like for some of you, we are going to be helping each other. Maybe you guys are going to business like business together. But I do feel that you're going to be helping each other. Libra, you might have some residual trust issues because of this person because you really don't trust them. You are so side-eyeing them so fucking hard. Um, I just keep getting that trust, that trust, that trust. And safety. Safety safety yeah i mean libra their intentions are very clear they just they want to feel safe that's their intention they want they want to feel safe they want to feel safe and they feel safe with you um it's gonna be up to you what you want to do it's gonna be up to you i'm really curious what happened though let's see if they'll tell me they probably won't though they probably won't i'm just telling you guys right now um especially if it's like if it's something like so awful and it's like for many people it's it's usually different details but let's go ahead and see uh, i'm gonna use legacy because i haven't used this one in a while what did this person do to the king what truth is com oh shit <laughs> major loss major loss major hurt what did this person do to the king what truth is coming out about what was done to the king? Hold on, what card is this? Oh, interesting. Ace of Pentacles. It could have been about money. It could have been manipulation about money. They could have they could have stolen. Oh, interesting. Stolen. Yeah, I feel like they're finding out that this person is only interested in their assets or their money. 
and they were very strategic and they had a plan. I keep getting that. They had a plan. For some, it involved other people. Oh, yep. Moon universe with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Truth about a major, major betrayal. Eight of Pentacles about money or work. And it was planned. It was, what did I say? It was planned. God, I'm almost afraid to pull more cards. <sighs> Tell me more about what happened to this king. Tell me more about the truth of what happened uh, as this king is coming out. Tell me more. feel for this person oh my god i mean i could tell i know some of you do i know some of you definitely do because this is like awful knight of pentacles with the ace of cups they're they're heading towards safety they're heading towards towards where their heart feels safe which is you which is you libra overall energy yeah we've got the ten of wands yeah with the lovers in reverse wow with the queen of cups and temperance to heal this they want to heal they yeah something happened between the two in the past for sure temperance is also divine intervention and we kind of had a little bit of that with um the lovers card there's a there's a sense of divinity here between the two of you oh well lovers <laughs> i was like duh lovers in reverse yeah whatever happened between the two of you must have been awful and i feel like the queen of pentacles had a hand in it for sure had a hand in it and all the while this person was just fucking planning a betrayal around money around money and for some they actually did lose money jeez very specific very specific oh libra i need a break I, i'm tired i'm tired now uh let's go ahead come on uh, i'm gonna use the goddess deck here and then we'll do um the animals jesus what energies will benefit my libras regarding this spread this is intense shit. Yeah, again, Libra, if you're wondering if they're telling you the truth, some of you are really going to be like, I can't let this person think I believe that. Libra, it's the truth. It's the truth. For some, it was a family member. Some, it was a boss or a coworker or a business partner. Others, it was like, it was their person that they shared a family with or married to with that Ten of Pentacles energy and the Queen of Pentacles energy. Queen of Pentacles doesn't usually do that either. Oh. Queen of Pentacles doesn't usually do that. I'm just, I'm getting the mimicking now. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is usually a very trustworthy, loyal um, sort of energy. Uh, very trustworthy. And remember I was getting mimicking where it's almost like using your energy. Um, yeah, like using your energy. Le what did I say? They feel safe with you, not this person. This person tricked them into thinking they were safe. That's a manipulator. That's a manipulator. Uh, what energies will benefit my Libras regarding this spread? What energies will benefit my Libras regarding this spread? Ooh, wow, we've got Bast, independent. God, this came up for Virgo too. Uh, your independence is a foundation for your strength and your success. Stand in your power, Libra. Stand in your power, Queen of Wands, when this happens. It's actually, that's one of the reasons, um, I think that's one of the reasons this person actually feels so safe with you because you don't need anybody. Clearly this queen of pentacles thought that they needed this king for money purposes or some kind of bullshit like that. Money is definitely involved there or family issues were involved there. Um, that's one of the things that they love about you. And it's one of the things that also makes them realize that you are safe. Cause it's like, if you don't need anybody, you don't need to manipulate anybody, you know? What other energies will benefit my Libras regarding this spread? What other energies will benefit my Libras regarding this spread? What other energies will benefit my Libras regarding this spread? Oh shit, that's it. And on the bottom we have, ooh, I haven't seen this one before. I don't know how to say it, so I apologize. I'm not good at pronouncing these names. Ain. I think that's Ain. Leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. That's definitely for the masculine energy here, okay? Whoa, underneath, I just have to show it. True love. Guinevere. 
Just saying. I'm not going to read it, but I'm just saying. It's there. All right. So let's go ahead and read these two that came out. I'm going to do it alphabetically. Some of you guys are not going to leave you hearing from this person. I can feel that. Some of you guys, I can even hear you guys in the comment section or in the chat because this is going to be a premiere. Because <laughs> I get, I, I'm get, I'm hearing your thoughts. It's so crazy. Some of you are like, there's no way that person's going to contact me. Like, Because some of you are like, wait, is it this person? Oh, no. She's talking about that person. That person's not going to contact me. Just wait. We are in eclipse season. Anyway, <laughs> think this is how you say it, Ain. Leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Procrastinating about your dreams won't make them go away. Neither will it make it them happen. Indecision is the death of the soul's burning passion to improve, grow, and learn. Don't worry about making a wrong decision. Instead, worry about making no decision at all. Ooh. <laughs> Libras, this might be you too. Okay, <laughs> might be for both of you. Then take time to pray, meditate, investigate, research, go on nature walks, and make your decision. Once made, the universe, the universal energies will immediately support your decision and doors will su successfully open as if by magic. The magic you see is that you set your mind to accomplish something. And this intention is what sets you on your magical journey. Trust that the universe will support you in all ways. Trust that your intention is clear and right for you. It might make a second video soon, so if I miss a few words, I'm going to try to go back, okay? I'm going to try to catch it. And then take a leap of faith and jump fully and squarely into the midst of put, putting your dreams into action. I said putting your dreams into action. Don't hesitate or delay a moment longer. Your dream will come true. Whoa. Whoa. Your chosen path is the right one for you. I'm going to repeat that. Your chosen path is the right one for you. Heaven supports you. Your material needs will be taken care of. Oh, damn it. Okay, I made a second video, so I'm going to go back a couple in case I missed any. Your chosen path is right is the right one for you. Heaven supports you fully on your mission. Your material needs will be taken care of. Take action, step take action steps towards the realization of your dreams. Break your dream into achievable baby steps so that it's easier to start and keep going. Oh, it's not Ain. Oh god. Whoa, that's so not what I thought it would be. Anya. It's Anya. Anya is a powerful Celtic goddess and fairy queen who gave birth to incar incarcerated. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> Incarnated. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, that really made me laugh. Anyway, I won't. I won't. I won't go there because I was just thinking about how a lot of us are resentful that we have been like, you know, put here to do like galactic charity work, and I'm like, oh, incarcerated. <laughs> incarnated uh fairies from her romances with mortal men a anya is re is revered in ireland for helping to grow crops and oversee animals you can call upon anya I keep wanting to say Aine, when you need additional guidance on the and the courage to take risks that was a tough one i know it was a tough one for me to read sorry guys all right so let's go to bast incarcerated it's funny Vast, independent. Your independence, independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Like the cat, you're fiercely independent, yet you also need affection and playful companions. Now is the time to balance your social interactions with solitude. While you may ask others for their opinions, ultimately you must make your own decisions. Your freedom and independence are top priorities, so ensure that these characteristics are nurtured. Spend time alone. Give yourself permission to play. Ask for your needs to be met. Make your own decision. Work with cats. Pay attention to your feline or get a new cat. And what I said in the Virgo reading, I was like, oh, a lot of cats are about to be adopted. And it's funny. I've come in, I've come across that a lot. A couple of people in my life have gotten new cats, which is funny, who have never been cat owners before. Anyway, um, the Egyptian goddess Bass transforms into a cat each night and protects her family and those who call upon her with all-seeing night vision. She exhibits the cat-like traits of the feminine, which includes gracefulness, independence, playfulness, and intuition. Bass also works with cat lovers to help their feline companions. The daughter of the sun god Ra, Bast has the rare distinction of being both a moon and a sun goddess. Very nice. All right, let's get some advice from the spirit animal deck and then we'll wrap this up, Libra. You got me all tongue-tied today, or at least you have the tongue-tied version of me. I guess this is what I meant to say. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? 
Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? On, let me get these ones out here. Yep, and spirit. Time to collaborate. So Libra, like I said, you're going to be side-eyeing. You're going to be very like, well, I don't trust you, I don't trust you. But I'm telling you, I'm get, I was getting help. Like, you guys are going to help each other. This is the Three of Pentacles helping each other out, being a team. Some of you guys are definitely going to be going that route. And actually, this is the advice to do that. This is the advice to do that, Libra. It might be hard for you to make that leap of faith, but it is the advice. And then we have Giraffe Spirit. See the big picture to see that. You two are going to help each other. You guys could help each other. And that sometimes bad should happen. Not bad should happen to people to make them change. But sometimes people do change. And sometimes it's because of really awful shit that comes to light, you know? And then we have mouse spirit. Tend to the small things with the energy of 40. Break it down to a four. Um, hmm. This is going to be about the trust. Oh. All right. Mm. Ow. I'm getting a pain in my mouth. Um, this is going to be about the trust. Because like I said, you're going to not sure. You're not going to be sure that you can trust them. You don't even believe their story, some of you. Um, it's going to be something about the details of the story. And you're going to and you're going to realize it. You're going to realize it. Some of you, this is not going to be for all of you. I know that for damn sure. But for some of you, it's also about looking back on your history with this person and how your relationship was. No matter what kind of relationship this was to you with this person in the past, it's like try to remember the like try to remember the details of it. Like had they ever said anything really cruel? Had they ever done anything really horrible to you? Had they ever done anything that was downright degrading or just downright hateful? A lot like I feel like half of you are going to be like, "Oh shit, no. They never were like that with me." Some of you some of you are definitely like, "Yes, they did. They did. They did." everyone's history is different but they're telling me to bring that up because some of you are going to be questioning if you can even trust this person and you're going to be asked to look on the past you've had with this person it's like did they actually ever do anything that was so awful and degrading some of you are going to be like shit no they never really did and that's where you're going to find the trust i'm telling you not all of you are in that group go slow Sorry, that was what they told me. Go slow. Because this trust does have to be rebuilt here, Libra. Go slow here. Build up slowly with this person. Okay. Any other advice from my Libras regarding this spread? <laughs> it's just as I said that. Oh, my God. Okay. Any other advice? Any other advice from my Libras regarding this spread? You won't have to go slow for long. That's so funny. Oh, beautiful. Then we have antelope spirit. Life is speeding up with the energy of two. Um, so I was saying build the trust slowly. Because as you start to do that, when you allow yourself to surrender to building it slowly, you'll be surprised how little time you'll need to go slow. Okay. And and, and the overall advice. Oh, my God. I can't believe how tongue-tied I am. What's going on, Mercury, right now? <laughs> anyway. Um overall advice is be spirit sweet results await this will benefit you this will be a blessing there will be rewards for you at the end of the tunnel if you take that leap of faith and see the bigger picture at hand as to how this all played out between the two of you from the day you met till now and all this shit that's happening to them and them coming to you because at the end of the day they realize you're the only person they can trust and what that really says right they're being humbled in a really big fat emotional way here and like i said for some of you Building that trust up again is going to be the details of your relationship, of some of you, not all of you, okay? Um, and to really go about this in a slow, methodical way, and you're going to be really surprised at how quickly that method pays off, okay? Um, yeah, at how quickly this method pays off. I and mean, we even said the energy is the harness to be comfortable taking a leap of faith to, to accept this person. And I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just telling you this is the advice. You're the masters of your own life. I can tell you don't trust this person. I can tell you don't. I can tell you don't. The advice from spirit is to try, to just give it a little baby step. That's the advice from spirit because if little baby step can sometimes lead to a run very quickly, okay? 
got a really smart child on your hands. <laughs> but anyway, Libra, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I really hope it was helpful and informative. I know we had a lot of shit going on in this one, a lot of shit going down. Keep in mind, yes, these can be vice versa, and it's not for everybody. It is not for everybody, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it, okay? I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to go on Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram. Yeah, and I, <laughs> and I hope you guys have a good night and a good rest of your year, okay? Namaste.